Hello everyone, it is Toby here, back for a brand new episode of Earn Author Blocks. In the last episode, we worked on these cool rocky archways, as well as the mountainside here, just getting it a bit more complete, ready for our underground project. And we also, with Nano, can't actually see it right now, let's fly over there. We worked on this portal area, just giving it a bit of completion making it look slightly more complete than just a portal in the side of a mountain. But anyway, in today's episode, we are going to be working underneath the castle, take a bit of a break from building up towers and that sort of thing, and continuing our project down here. So as you can see, I've done a bit of work down here. I've cleared out a bit of the hillside here, as you can see. Parts of the castle are coming down. And what I am going to do is basically clear out this entire area down to this level and make a big sort of lake down here to put a harbor in and hopefully it should be really quite cool because obviously we got these cave entrances that need to connect into one central river and uh, this is essentially going to be a giant cavern with stalagmites, stalactites, that sort of thing underneath where the castle is uh, which is going to house a harbour, some cellars, some dungeons, that sort of thing. And just be an extension of the castle above, but underground. So yeah, that's really cool. But the first thing we need to do is obviously chop away at this entire hillside and bring it all down to this level. And then work out where our waterways are going to go. So I'm thinking we continue this river as it is going under here and have a sort of like archway here maybe under the big build here or we bring this down here and have the river come around the edge of it and have this all be river here and what is that noise a squid just died nice but yeah and then continue uh, chopping this all the way down and having a big lagoon there could be really cool but the first thing we need to do is clear out this cabin okay I'm sorry but how many creepers have spawned in here in the last five seconds I went upstairs to clear my inventory Look at this! There is one zombie and about a million creepers. I didn't light it up for 20 seconds. Well, luckily I'm clearing it out so we can use the creepers to help. But... Come on, let's see if we can get a record, actually. Oh my. Okay, yeah. Alright, that's two gone. <laughs> this is... Oh yeah. Come on, come on, skeleton. Come on. No. Nope. Come on. Get him. Get him. Come on. Ah. This is incredibly terrifying. Go on, ske skeleton. No, that's a zombie. Oh, lord. Well, this is going well, isn't it? <laughs> so this is unexpected. I was digging out the uh, mountain and there's actually a zombie spawner directly below where we're going to build this lake, which is pretty cool. Dropped a carrot. Yeah, literally, I was just up there digging out uh, this big hole, and there's a zombie spawner, and you can leave. And I was just hearing all this groaning, and it was really annoying me. So I thought I'd come and sort it out. And lo and behold, uh, there's this here, and this is obviously the reason for all the groaning. Because it's been incredibly loud. And we got some gems. A golden apple. Some cold bread. We don't need a lot of this stuff actually. But the gem CDs and golden apple are nice. Could whack that in there. And the fact there's a zombie spawner just here. Is really quite cool. So we'll definitely hopefully make use of that. It may have to disappear. Depends how deep we want this lake. But... It could be a cool idea for a farm or something in the future. I don't know. But as you can see, this place is coming along really well. We're going to have tons of space to make this underground harbour thing. So I'm going to keep going and jump back with you once we have some more progress. So I'm going to outline the plan for this area very briefly. And as you can see, we have a big open area to work with, which is always really nice. And I have built up... Uh, the cellar of the castle where obviously we're gonna come down into this area from and I built up this staircase here there's just a rough plan of the staircase it's not final but it's just gonna come up here and disappear off uh, up here into the castle as you can see 
there's that window we did the other episode and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to terraform up the sides of uh, a mountain not a mountain of a cave up there and this is looking pretty good I think that's sort of the plan as you can see it's very dark and you probably can't even see it there because I can barely see it there but all of this is spawn proof so it's going to stay dark because it doesn't make sense to have everything lit up I think it'd be cool if the whole roof is like dark and the only lit up bit is the floor but yeah so all of this is spawn proof using slabs and stairs meaning no mobs can spawn uh, in the dark areas so we can play with lighting and it may sacrifice a bit of the looks but I think it looks fine as it is and yeah obviously up there we can just use normal blocks because mobs can't spawn on ceilings but I'm planning to have like the ceiling sort of arch down to this side as well and cover up all of the dirt obviously but this is the sort of thing we're going to do around about the places have uh, walls sort of like this so I'm going to continue that all the way uh, around this build here and off into this corner obviously where we got this big uh, rock formation so we can finish this bit off and then we can see once we have done the walls all the way around we can see what sort of space we have in the middle to create a lagoon because we're planning to have obviously this come out into some sort of a port harbor uh, dock sort of thing and I'm thinking we bring that off sideways here so we have a big uh, pond out the front here could be pretty cool but I want to now experiment with building this cave down and how I'm doing it is I'm essentially coming through here with uh, blocks like this and then just uh, coming through making sure that I make all of this spawn proof so it's gonna be something a bit like that so all of that is spawn proof as you can see it's slabs and stairs and it's looking really nice and when we get that built up up there and that sort of thing it should look pretty cool but I'm gonna work on the walls and watch these squid just sort of commit suicide <laughs> on the edge but yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. So guys, just going to take a quick break from the project to say that I have some news. I played an easter egg hunt with Mighty High, Forge and other Toby just then. And I decided that I wouldn't record it and I'd let the footage go on their channels. So be sure to check out their three channels for each of their perspectives of the easter egg hunt. But I won. I actually came through and won this winner's box. By a hair, I beat Toby by three eggs, I think. Something like that. It was like three eggs, and I'm happy I did. Because look at what we've got. We've got lapis, we've got gold, diamond blocks, we've got an unorther block, got some rockets, some enchanting books, and some wood, as well as some shulker shells. Because we won! Because we're the best egg hunters. So, yeah, that was... Really good fun. Thank you, Forge, for setting that up. As I said, go check out those guys in the description down below to see their perspectives. So it's the next day now, and I've been working tirelessly on this area. It's still not quite done, but we have the cave connected up to two of the rivers. Well, not this one yet, but we need to finish off this bit of cave in here. But... I thought I'd show you the completed big cavern area, so we got the other archway in there. Um, but yeah, it's looking good. As you can see, we've got this staircase uh, which uh, with some lanterns. The reason I've turned shaders on is so you can see uh, the cavern a bit better, because if we go into vanilla, it is so dark that you can't see any of the ceiling, which is fine. That's sort of the idea I'm going with, is this is a big dark cavern just lit up with a few lanterns around about the place we're gonna have some like uh rock formations with some lanterns on it that sort of thing a boat with some lanterns on it but oh the cave sound came in perfectly there as you can see it's not the prettiest cavern it is looking pretty randomized just a big hole which is really the look i'm going for i don't really need it to be a perfect terraformed underground cavern i just need it to be a big sort of rocky mess that looks kind of natural and from up here it looks super good with, with this big lagoon here where we're going to have a bit of a harbour coming across there with a boat parked up at it that sort of thing but yeah it looks super good with shaders and all of this is mob proof 
so no mobs should be spawning in this area whatsoever which is really cool I mean I guess we might get some drowns when we dig out the lagoon a bit deeper but that doesn't bother me too much uh, as long as we don't get any creepers and stuff that can blow it up I'm pretty happy but yeah it's looking super nice some of the areas in the ceiling are looking a bit jaggedy and random but it's fine it's a cavern it's what it should look like and uh, yeah I just need to continue working on this a bit further sorry I'm not doing too much building on camera but it's a bit boring just watching me you know like dig out uh, a, a lake like it's not the most interesting of builds to do on camera so I'm just gonna uh, get it done but I will show you what it looks like without the shaders so how, how it should look to all the other players and in my videos from now on as you can see it's very dark and you can't really see what's going on too well but we've lit up the staircase which is the bit that needs lighting up and obviously the entrances of all the caverns are lit up and once the lagoons dug out and we got the port in with some more lighting it should look pretty cool when it's complete I'm not gonna bother mixing in a load of cobble and andesite and that into the walls because you can't really see them so the fact it's so dark means less work for me for one that's good and it just doesn't need to be that detailed because it just has to give the idea of a, of a cavern and a canyon not a canyon a cavern or a cave but yeah I'm happy with how this is turning out now and yeah I'm just gonna keep plugging away at it this cavern is looking super good so what I've done is I've switched back to not using shaders now that I don't actually need to see that well but I have dug out the uh, lagoon a bit deeper and put some vegetation in the bottom as you can see squids are spawning in it which is quite funny but yeah we put in some sea pickles to light up the lagoon which gives a really nice effect of the water sort of glowing and then obviously the roof is so dark that you can't see it which is cool but yeah this is really cool we haven't done this entrance yet but we've done the other two apart from this one needs some lanterns but I've run out of lanterns and yeah I think we're ready to move on to the actual dock area which I'm gonna have come out here and it's just gonna be a single uh, dock thing and it's gonna probably go back to that wall and have some storage and stuff and then we'll put a, a boat parked up next to it but yeah it's looking really cool and I uh, mixed in some andesite and stone stairs in with the stone brick here and it just gives this really nice effect of a very warm stone staircase going up into the castle and I think in the next episode we're gonna work on in here and this area some sort of like a very basic interior before moving on to more of the castle but yeah this is looking super nice I'm really happy with how this comes out and I'm actually gonna switch out this lantern here to being on a uh, post rather than just on an upside down stair like it was just because it looks nicer I think but yeah, this is looking super nice I'm really happy with how this is turning out the one thing we do now have to do is sort of plan out uh, this dock and I think I'm gonna make it out of similar material stone stone bricks that sort of thing going directly that way and it may go all the way to the other wall and just sort of having somewhere for a for a boat to come in and park up and unload and then we'll have loads of barrels and storage that sort of thing may have some sort of crane coming here that can take barrels up the stairs rather than having to carry them that sort of thing something cool like that uh, but I'm gonna start work on that sort of thing and jump back with you so I've pretty much finished the underground harbor I'm gonna finish it at this stage today and work on some other stuff later but as for as it is now it's looking pretty nice I need to get to a good place we're gonna do this arch and this tunnel uh, at some point soon but yeah if we jump up here uh, to this corner you get quite a good view of what we've built so we can build out a bit of a harbour platform we've got this crane coming down picking up cargo taking it up the stairs which is quite cool looks nice and we have some cargo obviously and we've got this cargo boat that isn't actually my design oh whose design is it I'll have to get back with you on that one so this boat design is by X Gold Robin and that is on Instagram I think it's typed like this so that's the design and yeah I can't build boats so <laughs> I really did try I really tried to build a boat but it just didn't go well it's the one thing about Minecraft that I'm really bad at building is boats so I had to steal someone's design 
And yeah, the small boat is actually a, such a good design. Like X Girl Robin did a really good job. And they were making this cargo boat. And it fits so well in this area. Obviously, I've modified it because originally he made it out of spruce and oak wood. And I just wanted a spruce boat, spruce wood boat. But yeah, it's got a really cool shape to it. And I especially love the canopy. So it's it's really nice. And I think it's perfect for this area. But it's like a little tugboat um, sort of thing. And that can just live in here that sort of thing it looks pretty cool and obviously to get out of there as you can see it's probably a bit too tall with the canopy to get out of that out of that hole so obviously you could, you could just take the canopy down i'm assuming that's how it would work but I, I it's the logistics don't matter that much it looks cool and that's why i've built it uh and in fact it would definitely fit out of that exit there so that could be a cool way of doing it but it's just a nice little cargo boat to put in here but yeah, other than finishing off uh, that tunnel there, this underground area is pretty much done. I may come down here later and uh, spruce up the cave a bit, but for all intents and purposes, this is done. And I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Like, just looking at that there, that looks super nice in my opinion. Just, yeah, I'm happy. I'm very happy. Anyway, that's all we've got time for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Unauthor Blocks. We built this amazing little cargo boat, which, again, is X Gold Robin's design. But the whole cave itself, tons of progress today. Really cool. I'm very happy with how it's coming along. And in the next episode, we should get back to building the castle. So I've been Toby. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.